we are still going through this corona pandemic. And this is something that, you know, through uh, during the protest, people seem to have forgotten. But there are still people who are completely concerned about the health of their families. Um, two players, Avery Bradley and Trevor Ariza, have both, both opted out of this season of the restart. And uh, rightfully so, they both expressed concerns about, you know, keeping their family safe and that it's just a risk returning back so soon. So what do you guys think about that? Because I think we've been so focused on Black Lives Matter, but there's still a pandemic. Wilson Chandler of the Brooklyn Nets as well um, has decided that he won't play inside of uh, a family as an issue. Um, to, to kind of um, take what you said and piggyback off of that, Emerald, um, when you look at, um, you know, people's de- decisions, you know, Trevor Ariza, for example, um, his issue was more along the lines of, you know, custody of his child as it relates to the mother of his child, um, particularly because, um, you know, the, typically the NBA all season is around this time. You know, the, yeah. by this time, the NBA draft would have happened um, after 4th of Ju- you know, during 4th of July time, we're discussing free agency and who was going where. Right which was a zoo last year. Um, but what I'll say is uh, when you look at Trevor Reza's example, you know, in July, um, he is mandated to, uh, from, from old documentation that, you know, basically is mandated that he spends a month with his son. So rather than take him with him to, you know, Orlando, he's taking that time, you know, to spend with his child. You know, as it relates to Avery Bradley and, and, and Kyrie Irving more specifically, um, you know, I, I can share with you that, you know, Kyrie and Avery were always on one accord uh, as it related to um, how they were going about it. And at times, you know, it was expressed that uh, to me, uh, intimated to me uh, by uh, various folks within uh, Kyrie's circle, as well as Kyrie, that, you know, basically um, the media was making it seem as though, um, you know, those guys were divided. And then along came Kendra Perkins, you know, who, who added his two cents about it. And, right. you know, what, what I think ends up happening sometimes in this case um, is that sometimes when we air our dirty laundry out, people don't always hear the, the actual message. You know, there was a conference call a few weeks ago uh, where Kyrie Irving, who was the vice president, uh, one of the vice presidents of the Players Association, Chris Paul is the president, you know, expressed a certain concern about, um, you know, what was going on and what gets lost in translation is, you know, everybody right. hears Kyrie's quotes, but there were other people on that call, I spoke to about four different people on that call, you know, that, that basically shared with me um, that it wasn't just Kyrie expressing those concerns. There are a lot of guys that don't want to play, um, that don't want to go to Orlando. And as you look at, you know, as of last week, the 9,000 reported added cases of COVID-19, um, I think um, it, it, it's, it's worth an alarm because Florida was one of the first states uh, to kind of uh, relax um, the, the, the mandates as far as um, just various you know, protocols that go along with just moving and grooving around um, yeah. the state of Florida. But, you know, I, I'll add that, you know, when you, when you the NBA um, wants to get this done because if there's, the season doesn't resume, they'll actually be losing about $2 billion. And um, I think that, you know, Kyrie, I can tell you that whether, you know, guys decide to play or not or whether the NBA goes along with it, you know, he's, he's expressed that, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm going to go with whatever, you know, you guys decide to do, but, you know, he's a voice of opinion, and some of those opinions are from his NBA peers as well. So my only thing with Avery Bradley, which I, I had a question about, I'm, you know, if he wants to take off for his son, you know, because I guess he said, he said yeah. He's asymptomatic. Issue. Yeah, but I just didn't understand then why didn't he just say that before, because, it, like, the week before he was saying that they shouldn't go back to play because of everything that's going on in the country with George Floyd. So mm-hmm. I don't understand why not just, if that was the reason that you weren't going to go, why not just say that from the jump? Well, I think that um, to answer your question, it, it, and, this, and I think this is this question I've, I've or this statement I've made on, on multiple shows is, it's almost like Colin Kaepernick. Um, is it about the flag or is it about police brutality? And in this case mm-hmm. with Avery Bradley and Kyrie Irving and, and, and others, you know, it's the same dichotomy. Is it about COVID-19 or is it about police brutality, particularly in the cases of Breonna Taylor, uh, who was murders, uh, a.k.a. The, the police officers in that case still have not been arrested, as yeah. well as George Floyd. Um, so to answer your question directly, um, I'll say that I think that players are, are, are being very deliberate and careful in how they um, make uh, their assessment and what statement they put out when they decide 
what's, what statement they make when they decide, um, you know, whether they're going to play or not. So I think they're just being very, uh, very deliberate in, in their answer. That's the only thing I can really say. And then when you talk to certain players, some players actually do want to play. You know, I, I've spoken to some players. I, I use this analogy. It's literally like a bag of M&Ms or a bag of Skittles or Marilators. You have, you know, different colors, different, different, te- different textures and flavors. Some guys want to play. Some guys don't want to play. Some guys don't want to play because of the health concern about COVID. Some guys don't want to play because of, you know, they feel like this sports stuff is going to be a distraction from what's really going on and, and, and makes people more comfortable. And the fact that many people are, you know, alert about what's going on with, you know, police brutality and just the state of black affairs at large. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think there's a mix. Back then you talk to some guys who, you know, aren't officially retired, you know, like Larry Sanders, you know, spoke about spoke on TMZ. He told me about a week or two ago that, you know, he wanted to come back and, you know, he went on TMZ and said that that's what he wanted to do. There's some other guys that are out there, you know, that, that, that have a desire to play. So I think this opens up for certain people, but at the same time, certain people are, are concerned about their health. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk.